Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, part of my AliExpress haul came in and I can't wait to use this one. So we're gonna go ahead and look into it now. It is the Savalan Glitter Poly Gel, or it's Diamond Poly Gel um, kit. It was like $23, I believe, from AliExpress. It comes with the Poly Gel, the little lamp that is so, so cute, the brush and spatula, and it came with slip solution and some dual forms. So I'm gonna take this little lamp out and plug it up. It has a USB plug up. And then you press the button on top to turn it on. And then you press it again. So it'll do like the 60 seconds. And then you can press it again, of course, and it goes off. So these poly gels, oh my gosh, y'all, they are so cute. But here's the brush with the brush and spatula set. This spatula, end was way smaller than any brush i've ever seen like i compared it to another one just so you can see this one was really long and skinny and then it came with slip um let's get into the slip it smelled like straight acetone so i did not use it i had watched a video previously from femi beauty where she had used a savalan kit and she was saying that it was kind of cloudy so i'm thinking that it may be that slip since it smells like acetone so i'm just gonna use my alcohol to use it as slip for this and now we're gonna swatch them out so here's the red then this is the glitter purple which is really pretty you guys all of these were really pretty the purple doesn't look pretty on the camera but it, it was really really beautiful um swatching it out and this is like the jelly pink which i ended up using that one and then this is the glitter pink or glitter red which one is this one this is the glitter red. And then the next one is the glitter pink. And I ended up using that one too. And then this bubblegum pink um, poly gel. It was cute as well. So we're gonna take this little lamp and turn it on and cure it. So I left this part in so you guys could see, you know, that it does cure the poly gels and everything like it's supposed to. So it's a pretty strong lamp. So I did like that. The poly gel, is really soft not too soft where you can't work with it but soft enough that it makes it easy to move around it's not as sticky using my um, alcohol for slip solution so I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to get the dual forms and find them um, you know to fit my size or whatever but it literally came with like five or six dual forms so I had to kind of use them for both hands, but it did work out. Um, I was able to find my sizes, but if your hands are smaller than mine, you're going to have a problem because these were kind of big. But I was able to find my size without having to file um, any of it off or anything like that. And I did, like I said, use it for both hands. So now I'm going to put my base coat on and I'm going to put it on all of my fingers and then when you watch I will realize that I didn't put on any primer or dehydrator so I had to wipe it off and I took alcohol and wiped it off Then I went and got my primer and dehydrator and used that so that I could properly do my nails because I want to keep these on for a long time I don't want a lot of lifting or anything like that and this does help with lifting so I'm gonna let that dry then I'm gonna go back in and put the base gel on and put that in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure and then I'm going to do my poly gel nails and I'm actually gonna let you guys just watch the rest of the video because you've seen me do poly gel nails a bunch so we're just gonna see how these came out and then I'll pop back in at the end
Okay, I'm gonna pop in right here to kind of explain what happened because uh, I didn't realize that I left this part in. So I put the base coat on and then I went to use the lamp that came with it, but all of my hands would fit, would not fit under it correctly. So I just went ahead and used my Melody Susie lamp that I have um, just because I like to do everything at once. I don't like to have to stop and cure this and then go and cure that or whatever. I like to get it all done at one time. So that's why you see me swap the lamps out in the middle of the video.
Okay, you guys, so we're coming to the end of the video, and I just wanted to pop in to remind you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of any future videos, and look at how bomb these nails came out. Thank you guys for watching.